Promoting mental health in Colorado Springs and the Pikes Peak region is a priority for Abby Mobilade, the wife of Colorado Springs Mayor Yemi Mobilade. In a sit-down interview with News 5 today, she said now is a good time to guard your mental health because of things like anxiety from the approaching election, shorter days with longer nights, and for young people being peer pressured in school. Our Bill Folsom sat down with the city's first lady today. He joins us now in the studio for her take on mental health. Bill. Yeah, Diane, mental health is an issue she wanted to put a spotlight on in our community. She is careful to point out she is not a mental health professional. She's also familiar with the issue. She and she's an ICU nurse, a nursing instructor, a mom, and someone who sought out mental health support in her own family. I, blessing Yemi Mobilade. Before Yemi Mobilade was mayor of Colorado Springs, and possibly before he even thought of running for the seat, his wife Abby's intuition told her it was possible. Just throughout the years, there have just been a few just side comments or just, you know, passing remarks from friends and people in the community. The mayor's notoriety has carried over more than expected to the rest of the family. A self-described um, introvert, so Mobilati decided is, to embrace is, it as an opportunity and a platform to improve mental health in the community. Um, it's not one person, it's not one organization. It is literally the city, it is the community, it is our county coming together with the bits and pieces that they have to offer. From being down in the dumps to full-on depression, she believes mental health impacts everyone in the community. She tells of her own down days when she got counseling and the support that's helping an adopted child adjust in a new country with a new family. Because I have the resources and I have the connections and it's still hard. She's collaborating on things like the new Pikes Peak Rising 360 website. It's a resource with many different approaches to assessing and addressing your mental health and she's educating on simpler things that can boost the mental well-being of the whole community. Art, music, um, reading, spending time with friends, um, yoga, exercise. Like, there are just so many different ways that we can address our mental health. Over the summer, there was a push for a thousand neighborhood get-togethers across the city. It was about building community with an underlying impact on mental health. And when you leave that conversation, Nothing has been fixed. Like the problem is still the problem. The situation is the same. But that moment of being seen and that moment of being heard makes a difference. Now there is no single solution to mental health issues. It is complex with case by case subtleties. That noted, Mobilati believes step by step it can be improved in the community. Diane. I'm glad she's talking about it. Bill, thank you. Here's more information about Pikes Peak Rising 360. This online tool helps people find mental health and wellness resources all in just one place. It offers science-based videos, apps, articles, and community connections. Beyond the website, Pikes Peak Rising is a mental health movement in our community. More than 40 organizations have come together to boost awareness of mental health needs. Another mental health program in the Pikes Peak region is called GRIT. It stands for Greater Resilience Information Toolkit. It's a self-guided online training to help you identify when people are struggling. You can become a coach to support and motivate people in your lives. We spoke with Doherty High's band teacher about just how important it is to have this training for him. My hope is that programs like Becoming Your Personal Best, programs like Grit, like Team Strong, um, give kids that seed of I'm enough sooner. Because um, I think about, I, I think about who I could have been had I had that information at a younger age. That training is free. You just need to sign up online. We have a link at koaa.com. Mrs. Mobilade says she hopes to have 25,000 grit coaches in our community.